In this video, I want to show you how to create a table of contents in Microsoft Word. This will work in Word 2016, Word 2013, Word 2010, and probably Word 2007 as well. Now, before you make your table of contents, you're going to go through your document and put the uh, chapter headings at the top of, you know, where it's appropriate. So here I have chapter one, chapter 1.1, chapter 1.2, and so on. It doesn't have to say the word chapter. It can be any kind of heading, of course. I'm just using these as an example. So you want to kind of go through your document and put those in the appropriate places. Now, to make something appear in the table of contents, it has to be either a heading one, a heading two, a heading three, or a heading four. For example, I'm going to highlight where it says chapter one, and I'll pick up here on the home menu and I'll use these styles and I'll pick on heading one. So those are gonna be your main chapter headings. You make them a heading one. Now, notice how this one says chapter 1.1. I want that to be a subheading in the table of contents. So I'm gonna highlight that text and I'll make it a heading two, you see. Notice how that made it maybe a little bit smaller, but in the table of contents, that'll be a subheading. Here's chapter 1.2. I'll make that one a heading two. Now, I'm going to do a, a control F so I can find the next um, appearance of the word chapter. Okay, so then we have uh, chapter 1.3. Uh, I'll make chapter 1.3 uh, a heading 2. Good. Now, uh, I'll pick on, I'll go to chapter again. Now, chapter 2. I want that to be a main heading, so I'm going to highlight chapter two and make that one a heading one. Good. So we'll go down to the next occurrence of the word chapter. Uh, here's chapter three, and we're going to make that one a heading one. That's right, a main heading. Now, here's chapter 3.1. I'm going to make that one a heading two. But notice how I have chapter 3.1.1. I'm going to make that a header three. Now, if we look at our styles over here, uh, notice how we have heading one, two, and three, and I'm pretty, uh, there's a heading four as well. So we can go down four levels. All right, so let's keep on going, uh, go down to the next one. Uh, chapter 3.1.1, that's gonna be uh, heading three. I already did that one. Go to the next occurrence. 3.1.2 is gonna be a heading three. 3.2 is going to be a heading 2, and then chapter 4 will be a heading 1. So you want to go through your entire document, put the headings into your document where, you know, things that should appear in your table of contents, and then you're going to go ahead and highlight that text and make them either heading 1, 2, 3, or 4, depending on their, if they're a heading or a subheading and so on. Now, I'll usually put the table of contents on the first page. So I'm going to go back to the top and I'll click uh, right before where it says uh, chapter one. Then I'm going to add a new page here. So I'll say insert and a blank page. Good. Now I'll go all the way back to the top of page one and I'll click at the top of page one. Now let's actually build the table of contents. We're going to go into the references menu. Okay, references. Then I'm going to come over here and it's just table of contents. Now notice how there's different styles for your table of contents. If you scroll down, you'll, you'll find a, a few styles there. I'm just going to go for the basic one and notice what it did. Things that were noticed as, as a heading one, notice how they line, uh, line up. And then here's the ones that I made as heading twos. This is the heading one. This is the heading one. This is a heading one, I mean a heading two, and then notice how these are heading threes, these are even indented. So it really handles that very nicely uh, when you make them either heading one, two, three, or four. Now, notice how when I move my mouse to one of the chapters, it'll say control click to follow that. So if I go to chapter 3.2 uh, and do control click, that'll take me to that section of the document. Now, another place that these show up, these show up in the navigation pane. So if the navigation pane isn't already open, you can do control F and it'll open up the navigation pane or you, you can pick on view and then navigation pane here. 
Now notice how if I pick on the word headings, then all the whatever I marked as heading one, two, or three should, should show up on the navigation pane as well. Now let's see how we're going to update the table of contents. Let's say uh, I keep on adding more to the document, and then maybe this is going to be chapter five. So I'll type in chapter five right there. Of course, I'm going to highlight that. We'll make it, uh, we'll go back to the home menu, we'll make it a heading one. So let's say I added more things that I want to be in my table of contents. Well, you have to update the table of contents. It doesn't do it for you automatically. So I'm going to go back to the top on the table of contents. You're going to click on the table of contents and look what it says. It says update table. And then I'm going to update the entire table or I could have done the page numbers only. Uh, this case, I'll update the entire table. And then notice now it has the chapter five. So what's really important here is you have to have text throughout your document that you want to appear in your table of contents. You would highlight that text. And then on the home menu, you give it a style of either heading one, two, three, or four, depending on if you want that to be a heading or a subheading. Then uh, we come up here and we picked on the references menu and we picked on table of contents, as you can see. Or if I want to update it, you would pick on update table right there as well. Hopefully you saw how to make a table of contents in Microsoft Word.